Hi everybody, Savannah here, and today I just have a um, quick video on my three favorite mascaras, and all of these, strangely, happen to be Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. So, my first one that I love is Maybelline New York Lash Stiletto. And I do really like this. It is a nice, sleek package. It gives you really long lashes. Um, great for every day. The pack, the um, bottle is tapered down to the edge where it has just this little red point to it, which is almost like a stiletto heel. So when you get it, the wand looks like that, and which is a really pretty little tiny wand, and it is very long, but it is skinny, so it's great for like getting down um, on your lower lash line. The second one is Maybelline's XXXL Pro Extensions Mascara, and I happen to like this one, um, not only because it's a great mascara, but because it is a great value. Oh, Lash Stiletto, I think it's like eight bucks around, somewhere around that price. And same with this one as well. Um, but for eight dollars, you get two ends like that. The first one is a primer. So you prime your lashes first. And the second one is the actual mascara wand. And it's just a nice black mascara and a typical wand. And this makes your lashes look absolutely huge. And my favorite one is um, Maybelline Falsies Flared Volume Express Mascara. And, oh, it's like getting some use and the brush is bent. But, hey, I love this. Look at this wand. It is awesome. It's, like, thick and it's got, it's curved. So, instead of applying two different kinds of mascara, you can apply it once with the wand with the u-shape facing up and then next with the u-shape facing down so that's a different thing now they all have their drawbacks um the maybelline lash stiletto one i um kind of gave it its name maybelline lash stiletto because i find this takes forever to dry um absolutely forever it's sometimes boring and then you have to be really careful because if you accidentally touch your eye and it smudges it's like um ugh. this is waterproof and I'm pretty sure this was actually in the color black brown um so maybe the no this is not waterproof this is not waterproof in the color black brown so maybe the waterproof one might work better I don't know. So then the next one, the XXL Pro, um, definitely has its drawbacks in the fact that um, sometimes the primer can get a little cakey and your lashes will get very clumpy and um, this can cake on top of it and it just doesn't look that great. Um, so you do have to be very careful while applying this and definitely apply it with a light hand because if you just kind of, it's going to get cakey and grody. Now the falsies one, I'm not even sure I have um, a an issue <coughs> with this mascara. Um, it's great. And uh, as you can tell, all my, mas all my mascaras are Maybelline. Which has to say something, I think, about the uh, quality of their mascaras. Because, you know, I've tried Mary Kay, Elf, The Color Workshop. I've tried many, like, Victoria's Secret. I've tried a bunch of different um, mascaras. But when it all comes down to it, Maybelline, I really think, makes the best. And, um, the next mascara that I do want to try is, um, 
definitely is uh, the CoverGirl's Clump Crusher to see if it's anything close to these. And just a small correction, this is not in the color black brown. This is in very black. So, very black this is. And then this one... Yeah, this one is very black as well. Or, your Intense. <laughs> this sounds so much more sophisticated. So, definitely, I would definitely go with the falsies. Um, no doubt about it. It gives your lashes just a great shape and it's awesome. So, I definitely go with that one. But either other, um, they're great. These are great mascaras and I would definitely try them out. Um, so if you were looking at any of these three or you just wanted to look at a fun video of someone ranting about mascaras, I hope that this helped and I hope that you got your mascara fix. Alright, have a great day everyone. Bye.